Hervé Léger, uh, a wonderful artist, a wonderful couturier, uh, and we're here tonight to talk about excellence. I've always been fascinated by the 40s and the 50s, the big movie stars. I mean, those years to me were uh, very important when I started uh, in fashion. I've lived also in, in a period where we had designers like Thierry Mugler, uh, Claude Montana, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I mean, all this creativity, not issue. The first bandage dress uh, I designed, I, I, I was, I mean, the real stories that uh, I was, I was showing them when we were, when we were a small house. But uh, I was doing really it well, and uh, uh, as usual, I, I was sewing a lot of my clothes myself. And uh, we had a show, so he wanted a finale. And when you want a finale, you want something shiny, I don't know what. And I went in a factory, and there was this bed of material that were there in a box. And I said, what is this? He said, oh, it's for the garbage. I said, can I have them? I said, yes. So what I did is I took those bands home and started to sew it one next to the other. And that's... That's how uh, the, the bandage dresses started. This is a fabric that I love, that is done specially for me in Italy. I dyed my own coloring. Sometimes I change, I can work on tafta, I can work, uh, but I have such a great result with that, that as long as I'm not bored with it. The fabric, I play with it, I mold it, and the fabric pushed me to do this kind of thing. I was trying to look for something. I remember ugly pieces, I still dream of before I found something interesting. <laughs> no, really, I can see it. Since you want to forget that the worry is here. <laughs> For you, what's the happiest moment while you're doing fashion? Like, what do you enjoy the most? But the happiest moment is when it, we do a fitting and the dress is wow. And you, can, you know, before, I, I, really, I was always knocking on my head with hammer like, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. Now, with the time, I can walk in my shop, or I can tell you that I find this dress beautiful. I would never, I would have found pretentious to say that before. But when you, if you see this dress, the dummy is not good, but if you see this dress on the body, I mean, and this is a good, the good moment is when you do clothes. All the rest is shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd better do them well. Is there something you learned when you were starting out in the fashion world that you wish a lot of young people starting out should know? You have to catch the spirit of people you work with and reproduce it for yourself. You have to find your own personality, your, your own story. But for that, you have to be able to look and to understand uh, the person you are working with. My first boss uh, put me immediately in the workroom, in the couture workroom. So I learned how to make uh, the sewing by hand. And that opens the door, in fact. If you want to meet Marjac Jacob tomorrow, it's going to be difficult. But you have to fight for that. You have to go and learn somewhere that you really think you like. But it's good to have your own universe. It takes time to create it, but I think it's still possible. And I think it's going to be more possible today for you kids, because people start to get bored. About, I mean, all the uh, major houses are so present, they are over publicized. You have to, to be proud at a certain point, not to be ashamed to be proud of what you've done. Anyway, the salvation will come from your designers. If they can survive to this world, I mean, something new has to happen.